Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to One MD Sunday Show. As always, thank you all for joining us week after week uh, on all our programs. And today's program is a very special one because after listening to all of you, we've gotten child experts and child experts who are well known for their work in uh, their individual capacity and as well in the social work that they do across uh, children's mental health. And so I'm going to welcome uh, Dr. Preetam Chandak, Dr. Harish Shetty, and Dr. Bhushan Shukla. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, Dr. Shetty, yeah. yes, it's it's a great pleasure, sir. We've seen a whole lot of your programs and Dr. Bhushan as well. Both of the doctors are on Twitter and you can follow uh, all of the work that they, great work that they do. Uh, Dr. Bhushan, I'll be posting their social media channels. Dr. Bhushan Shukla is on Doc Bhushan. And Dr. Preetam Chandak is on Dr. Preetam Chandak. Uh, you can just look them up on Twitter. Uh, and uh, Dr. Shetty, I would ask you to first uh, start with this topic and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, I think uh, a very important issue about children. Schools have begun. There is tentativeness. Sunday Times says 10% of students are all only attending. And uh, I would not describe much, but I would still ask each one of you to wear your mask and uh, let me tell you that one of my close friends lost her father and her uncle in the month of October and late September. And one of my friends just called that she was ad she's admitted with her father and mother. So don't drop your guards, keep your masks on. And let me go straight to both of you, Pritam and hello, sir. Yeah, yeah, hello, hello. And anybody can say opening comments on schools, <laughs> starting general your observations uh, general comments about what is happening happening around uh, the place where you work and what you see what you listen and uh, everything around that uh, so uh, sir are you going to begin or should i take go, 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 go ahead, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Uh, thank you uh, uh, anirudh dr harish sir for giving me this opportunity and i just want to congratulate for highlighting such an important topic which has been there for almost two years now post covid and within the covid era but some or other way we as we have normalized into our lifestyle we are into our clinics people are into their work from home places or in their office this topic has somewhere down the line taken the back seat so mm. if we consider covid definitely it has been a difficult and challenging situation for every one of us and no one was immune to it in that context not uh, not the children, not the adolescent, not the adult or elderly as well. But what is happening as we have gone through all the emotions during the COVID that during the first wave, we were really fearful. We doctors, in, in fact, also were not having any clue how to go about it, how to do our practices. Then the thing starts as unfolding. Uh, there were many new guidelines, vaccines came up and the things started normalizing to majority of the extent in our context. But the population who has been the real sufferer or who has the COVID has been really disastrous for them and has been the kids and the adolescent population. We, every one of us, all the three doctors, we, every one of us, we, day in and day out see many children, many kids, many parents, many school teachers coming to us and from the experience of last two years this has been really a difficult time. हम एक चीज जैसे मैं मेरे पेशेंट्स को हमेशा बोलता हूँ कि हम लोग हमारे दुनिया में कहीं ना कहीं नॉर्मल हो गए लेकिन जब भी हम लोग बच्चों की बात करते हैं या कॉलेज वेंग स्टूडेंट्स की बात करते हैं they have some pretty common things in their world मतलब parents are there one of the important a stump in their uh, overall uh, routine. Schools plays a very important role. Their peer groups plays a very important role. And overall, the atmosphere, what they spend and what they do. So every aspect of their life has been affected. Parents are now busy with their routine. Schools have been shut. Though open, the response is not that good. Peers interaction or the social interaction, what we always say has been uh, at its lowest level and again the screen times the behavioral issues again have been rising so definitely this covid has been a, a 
really uh, a kind of some kind of difficult situation for this particular population and still many of the parents many of the teachers many of the schools are not figuring out how to have a process to keep in mind because every one of us know sir has been having a lot of talk on covid we know this is not going anywhere we are going to have outbursts of covid whether at epidemic level endemic level this is going to stay but we have to have some process for it that this what we call the future generation of india is not more uh, being at the suffering so definitely i feel this need uh, this issue needs to be uh, uh, looked at in from every level from political level from social level and everything and just opening the schools will not serve the purpose like uh, recently we have seen ki jo ek vaccine ko hesitancy and now government has started ki we will go door to door and we'll start vaccinating in fact in one week or so nagpur uh, uh, have almost achieved 1 lakh door to door vaccination so in such type of model there has to be something done because just opening the schools and asking the parents or asking anyone to just drop into the school back because this transition is will not be a kind of ki ekdam se ho jayega this will take some time and it has to be done in a gradual way so definitely uh, this is one of the important issue and uh, the real issue in the post covid era what we feel we should be discussing and should be given weightage of thank you pritam yeah. yeah bushan sir this situation reminds me of a story that i had read as a child that there was a donkey that was very hungry and very thirsty and it had one bale of grass on one side and a bucket of water on the other side and this hungry donkey died of hunger and thirst because it could not decide whether to eat the grass first or whether to drink the water first i think we are exactly in the same situation on one side we have safety and on the other side we have need to go back to normal life economic normal life social normal life and academic normal life and if we have to you know be different than the proverbial donkey and uh, you know have a good life we need to make wise choices and make them quickly and responsibly so parents are desperate ke bachchon ko school to bhejna hai ghar pe rakh rakh ke 1.5 saal ho gaya abhi khud ke bachche hai to bhi kitna jhel lenge inko and bachchon ko bhi bahar jana hai और सेफ्टी का भी इशू है कि क्या करें सेफ्टी तो रखनी है लेकिन स्कूल तो जाना है सो दिस इज आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट डायलेमा दैट ऑल ऑफ अस आर फेसिंग नाउ एब्सोल्युटली एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी टू लिसन टू प्रीतम हु स्पोक अबाउट द बिग पिक्चर एंड द ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी व्हिच भूषण जस्ट शेयर्ड एंड लेट मी टेल यू देयर वाज अ लायन वंस अपॉन अ टाइम हु वाज इन द केज फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड एंड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द डे सेड दैट दिस लायन शुड गो टू देयर हैबिटेट but when he was released in the habitat he rushed back into the cage again and again and he was so so scared to get into the habitat and and that i think is, is one of the most important uh, aspects of some children some children not all and i would like to just give you an overview of the pasta what i yeah. see as 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 very very general and uh, pasta is that i see a significant number of children a panicking to go to school and i would just focus on that one aspect there was this boy who refused to attend online ninth standard and he refused to attend school so the school was very nice the principal was very nice and uh, she sent a teacher to convince the child to go to school and what the teacher saw was the child was playing in the building but he was not attending online as well as going to school and the mother said that usko bahut dar lagta hai jab school ka naam lete hue bahut dar hmm. lagta hai and uh, par par father did not agree bushan and pritam father said nahi wo drama karta hai school ka school ka teacher bol khel raha tha principal he was playing cricket and then they both called the mother and said aisa nahi chalega school aana padega so i would use this opportunity and pritam and, and bushan would agree that you might still may have the selective fear of attending school and then soon as folk attack or separation anxiety let's not use those terms here but yadi ye ghabrahat ko yadi kam hona if this fear has to go down unless the school cooperates with the family the child will not be able to come and this is a problem in so many children and with this i would go ahead and ask anirudh to take charge 
Absolutely, sir. And uh, the one thing about hesitancy, as as uh, Dr. Shetty rightly spoke, Dr. Bhushan and Dr. Preetam, uh, what is one way that we can handle this from both the ends, right? Like you just now mentioned that we have to ask the schools to start. We had another, uh, you know, panel where we had a principal and she mentioned that, you know, we are doing everything that's humanly possible because we are, this is as an administration also, it's a new challenge for us to install all of these tests and do everything. And now in that, there is this added pressure of uh, some parents just being absolutely like, no, everybody has to be doubly vaccinated. So what are your thoughts about this? Like, should we wait all the way till everybody is doubly vaccinated until then just continue this online education? Or should we uh, start slowly maybe doing this batch-wise thing where half the students come, half the students don't come? What, what, what is the model that comes to your mind, Dr. Bhushan and Dr. Preetam? Dr. Preetam, you can start. Yeah, definitely. As you talked about the hesitancy thing, hmm. exactly the same word. One week ago, I had a principal visiting my clinic just to have some inputs regarding how to handle the behavioral issues, what are being seen uh, in their children and about to come in the post-COVID world. Exactly. Whatever the school administration can do best possible, because again, apart from being a, a, a institution, they also have some social responsibilities also and no one wants to get famous for another reasons like they have some covid outburst in their school or they are not taking any precautions in that case so they are taking utmost care in fact one of the school is in my just apart uh, just besides my apartment and just i visited during a morning walk so they were utmost precautions and everything what i always feel the the missing link is from the other end because of this one and a half years, what has happened, everyone, particularly the parents, has gone to their comfort zone. Matlab, subha ki jik jik nahi hai, subha utna nahi hai, tiffin banana nahi hai, bacho ko school bus ka tension nahi hai, lene nahi jana hai, ye nahi hai, ye. So, this is the comfort zone which they are believing in. And the second rationale which you are you have mentioned in your in your talk, he, they have the hesitancy for the school. But you today is Sunday and you visit any restaurant in Mumbai, Nagpur and Pune, and you will be seeing families waiting for 40 minutes, 50 minutes for their turn. So again, the That's hesitancy right. is very selective in that selective. nature, which Agreed. which needs to be dealt with in. Because yes. mala, kids are wanting to go some or other extent, but in this in this kind of generation, they don't have that much of cognitive development. He is hmm. so safe hai, nahi hai. So they rely on the parents' decision completely. Ki agar aap bologe, hum jayenge, aap nahi bologe, hum log nahi so Correct. here lies the main problem. And again, as I have mentioned initially, COVID has will be going to stay over here. Itne saal ke research ke baad, we are not able to fight dengue, malaria, TB. Jis tarike se ye cases wo samay aana hi hai. So that has to be taken. But as sir has mentioned or as the organizations are mentioned, you have to take the basic precaution. You, keep, you have to keep yourself masked. You have to use your sanitizers. And again, mm. uh, government has again recently come up that after two years, the vaccination will roll out in one month or so. So again, mm. vaccination will solve the problem to majority of the extent. So definitely, mm. I feel this hesitancy has to be rolled over from the parent end. Second, what I always felt ki the academic or, or the school concept, what parents have in their mind is only for the academic domain. They mm. are ignoring the other benefits of school. Like you have emotional component to it also. You have social component to it. You have peer interaction component to it. You have physical activity component to it. But when we talk to parents, what is the online to kya PPT? It will come to school at home. Why do you go to school? But, but they are not... Uh, uh, improvising or though uh, they are not understanding ki ye baki cheezon ka kitna importance hai bachcho mm. ki apni ladaiya kaise resolve karni hai bachcho ko discipline kaise sikhana hai bachcho ko har jeet kaise sikhani ye sab jo cheeze hai jisko shayad humko voluntarily sikhane mein bahut samay lag jaye school Correct. mein ye cheez bachche khud se sikh lenge ya mm. wo teacher ya environment mein sikh lenge lekin parents ka drushtikon aisa ho gaya hai ki school matlab se a, B, C, D, yeah, algebra, geometry, sikhana, hai, toh, toh, PPT mein aai hai. by Jews, Vedantu, yeah, koi bhi aisa kuch laga denge, toh, wo cheez toh ho rahi hai, sir, toh, school kyu bhejna hai? 
और एक्सपेंसेस भी बच रहे हैं सर हमारा टाइम बच रहा है तो आई फील दिस इशू नीड्स टू बी डील विद और ये चीजें सब लेवल पे समझाना जरूरी है स्कूल अगर ये चीज सिर्फ पोट्रे करता है तो दे फील कि यार स्कूल का ये इशू है सर दे वांट मनी दे वांट चार्जेस फॉर दिस सो सभी एंगल से दोज हु आर इंटेलेक्चुअल दोज हु कम इन कांटेक्ट विद पेरेंट्स टीचर्स सो ये इशू रेज करना बहुत जरूरी है absolutely uh, dr bhushan anything you would like to add and also another question i would just sort of mm-hmm. add into that is uh, do we need to sort of look back and sort of define what a school is when, when it comes to this because there is a whole lot of questions coming uh, in terms of skill uh, skill development right like we always had this thing where we had school and then there was tuition and then there was skill wala another class where you have to go and learn all of these things so uh, now people have realized that okay there is skill development happening in multiple other places so do we need to go back and also define what schooling is supposed to be like Your so uh, adhiro if we have to look at the most fundamental reason why we go to school it is to get ready for adult life right school is not an end in itself it is Absolutely. it is a path which gets us ready for adult life and if we see all of us adults spend majority of our time interacting with other unrelated people who are not our blood relatives we play by the rules that have not created by us we live in a system which is dictated by other people now this is a complete antipodal situation to what happens in family and if we have to get our children ready for the real world our only way to get there only path to get there is hmm. only boat which will help us cross this river is our school no matter what byju or whatever I, you know this is just the name because it's the most famous yeah. one what they do with their tablets and what hmm. uh, drawing and painting we are able to achieve by going to skill classes correct apne doston ko gale lagana unke sath jhagda karna unke sath daba khana aur unke sath masti karna ye zindagi ka maqsad hai this is the this is the crux of school life education is a by product ke jaise यू नो गन्ने के खेत से गन्ना निकालते हैं कारखाने में डालते हैं उसमें से शुगर बनती है लेकिन उसमें अल्कोहल बनता है मोलासेस बनते हैं बाकी काफी सारी चीजें बनती है पॉलिटिक्स भी चलता है यू नो इट्स एग्जैक्टली लाइक दैट एजुकेशन इज दैट शुगर बट ऑल अदर थिंग्स आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर शुगर फैक्ट्री दिस इज वॉट वी आर लुकिंग एट एंड आई थिंक वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हैज बीन रेज हियर बाय सुप्रिया राजेश सिंह इज दैट कम्यूटिंग हैज बिकम अ बिग इशू फॉर पेरेंट्स Mm-hmm. Latima also says yeah. like the same thing. Uh, yes, yes. Lot of parents are struggling with that, and I think yeah. here is a chance for real innovation. Lot mm-hmm. of parents are working from home or are doing hybrid work. What we now need to look for is cloud parenting. Parents living in the same housing society, getting together, looking after children together. Now we are going to realize the importance of putting children in the school that is closest to your home, yes. and not just going by reputation. this is where we are going to go back to basics so i think parents need to get together help each other out maybe one parent drops the kids to school the other parents gets them back and we rotate that so that in a week you have to do only one or two duties per parent this is where we really stand a test as society innovativeness and our spirit of cooperation this is what is really needed beautiful beautifully said dr shetty you always mention the same thing that dr bhushan just now elucidated yeah, yeah. community parenting could you uh, throw some yeah, light yeah. Uh, we have we have actually we we carried out an experiment of pool parenting or cloud parenting not only for for travel but also for teaching so mm-hmm. one parent was good in hindi one parent was good in history one parent at at, at the job taking them out and 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 so so i think i think time has come that you don't uh, go and look at your close relatives or the the tuition teacher but community and that's beautifully said by by bhushan also don't look for brand schools your child is the brand the school becomes the brand because of the child and i would like to also say what what pritam said ye aise hi bachchon ko aise mat bolo ki school start kiya tum jao we need to do some correctives and i would like to use the term acronym asha asha is that when the school has started the most difficult circumstances bhushan me pritam should request uddhav thakre to have this state talk on child mental health then i will do it as soon as i finish this talk that asha would mean a is awareness continuous 
awareness continuous and even the pediatric task force can join that we are continuously available to the parents and other stakeholders of schools across the next three months in terms number two the state should support schools continuously in all aspects both in the sops as well as in the in the absentia absentia teachers managing curriculums bringing down bringing down curriculums and tests and and bringing down a lot of sops which are not useful at all here i would have been so happy if we had helplines for 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 beds helplines for remdesivir helplines for oxygen well we need oxygen for families and schools and we need a helpline where families and schools can access anytime for their difficulties for their anxieties for their fears in carrying the child to home or even for the suggestions to make alterations in the school policy both pritham and bhushan said this is a time when we need we need to actually evolve the entire process of schooling and and last is let me tell you pritham bhushan me and all of us are seeing a lot of children who are accessing help yes and we need to provide the state needs to provide a list of people who can provide free treatment to our poor children you cannot mm. afford the services of professionals so i would say asha can be a project of the state and i'm yeah. going to write immediately after this program mm. to my chief minister who has been very proactive and is recovering and we wish him great recovery from his uh, uh, spinal operation that uh, that we volunteer to talk to mm. the people of maharashtra so many of us to really allay the anxieties and we would request our ikbal chahal our dynamic ikbal chahal to start mm. a helpline for children parents mm. and schools and we request all schools to be joint families parents and 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 schools schools actually coming together and access to free treatment i think that that i think is is one of the most important interventions after a, a disaster of this this magnitude absolutely dr shetty what a, a wonderful thought and uh, i wish you uh, great success on this i hope uh, everybody can take notes from this uh, dr preetam and dr bhushan the next uh, topic that i want to discuss is we all as adults had the chance or the opportunity to once sort of things got a little bit better uh, we did meet up our friends maybe we were masked and we had small parties in diwali where people met each other etc even though in a controlled environment and very few people even then we had our sort of uh, you know uh, and travels etc but kids have not had that for almost a year and a half now and they needed it probably way more than us so uh, when i talk about like healing or fixing of this damage as i would uh, look at it of the past one and a half year what are some innovative solutions that you would recommend to the parents who are watching this uh, and you know uh, all of the children who are suffering even uh, children with disabilities in that dr pritam and dr bhushan so, no, dr bhushan i would yeah go ahead yeah definitely what you have told this has been the major missing link because mm. we, as a individual or as an adult we have been to more of into our zones we have been at our workplaces but for kids this has been really a, a difficult uh, time they are not able to interact and everything and as bhushan no. sir mentioned ki jo ek gale lagane wali feeling hai wo unko mil hi nahi pa rahi hai and that is missing one thing so initial in the days when the anxiety of the parents were really high the covid second wave was there and everything so i i just on the basis of this cloud parenting i just started a, a thing to my kids or those who were coming to me that a visual meet once a week or twice a week will serve the purpose with the okay. controlled or the watchful environment of the your home you can just okay. log in or as we have a zoom meeting or we mm. friends as a have a zoom meeting kind of thing so you can lock all the friends all the colleagues or all in the apartments also because in the initial stage the people staying in the same apartment were also not sending kids mm. from first <laughs> to second floor and that kind of thing to so mm. begin with i suggested with them because the parent then used to have so much of anxiety 
कि सर नीचे गए तो फिर अगर मास्क दो मिनट के लिए निकाला तो सर कोई और बच्चे को रहा था एंड दे हैव ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ हाइपोथेटिकल क्वेश्चंस एंड हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन तो टू बिगिन विद आई सजेस्टेड देम दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग नाउ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्लाउड पेरेंटिंग और द द काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिटी पेरेंटिंग एज एवरीवन इज अबाउट टू आई इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनोवेटिव वे आई ऑलवेज सजेस्टिंग इज एटलीस्ट यू गाइस थ्री फोर पेरेंट्स इन इन द सोसाइटी और over the period of time you know who your who your child is friend with so you decide mm. uh, a particular day or a particular time sunday is again free time for every one of us but in mm. week day you also plan some kind of thing there are parks everywhere there have been club houses everywhere now and day so you just uh, decide some way ki aaj char paanch bacche and this parent will be spending time she will be watching the thing but it it hmm. will be the kids who will be interacting whatever they want to do lapai chupai khelna hai cricket khelna hai ya jo bhi cheez karna hai whatever they want to do they will do at her place and the parents will pick up at a particular time every sunday you can plan some kind of activities like uh, there are many farms uh, near nagpur now many activity center have also started uh, the gorewada zoo in nagpur has also started because again i am feeling this thing this two years has been really kind of मतलब आपण जे म्हणतो ना की एक आयुष्यातून मायनस झाल्यासारखं झालं आहे अँड दोज किड्स हू हॅज बीन इन टू दॅट दॅट झोन की म्हणजे एक्सप्लोरिंग आता जे आहे ते दॅट हॅज बीन रिअली डिफिकल्ट दे गेट फ्राईटन बाय सीईंग अ काउ दे गेट फ्राईटन बाय सीईंग अ डॉग ऍट देअर आउट आउटसाईड देअर सोसायटी सो मेकिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स त्यांना इंटरॅक्शन आपले कोणते करवाना आहे they they in short they have to go to the outer world so plan this mm. kind of thing give give them to a, a orange field some day go to a river kind of thing some day go to a zoo kind of something every sunday so that they also get uh, touched up with the external mm. world as well yeah. so yeah. at far or at large i have been able to do at least this much because parents are not able to get more about it ki sir humko hmm. city mein rehna hai humko sir wo risk bhi hai and everything so but this model i am following it since uh, post uh, second wave so to okay. majority extent i am getting very positive feedback from the parent and the behavioral issues what we are going to talk about that hmm. has a significant decline in the anger issues uh, anxiety issues temper tantrums and all these things because again every three of us will agree to it physical activity social interaction is 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 the core domain for your child and that has been mm. the missing so i hope this is helping them to some of the extent when the school mm-hmm. is not there or on and off schooling has been going on. excellent and mm-hmm. dr bhushan you can please add to it and also i would like to sort of ask regarding children who are probably don't have the means and also the ones who are uh, you know uh, challenged or physically or uh, you know uh, mentally challenged uh, see l- let me take you back a little bit in 1994 yeah. there was genocide mm-hmm. in an african country called rwanda thousands of people were killed in a very short span of time and it was a national disaster for them Right. when american psychologists went there to give psychological help lot of people lot of local people who they were supposed to help actually did not avail the services and uh, talking to those people revealed that people said that these people take one person in the room and talk to him for entire hour and that is very strange the person comes out even more sad so they were asked how do you handle these things how do you mm. handle a calamity that entire society is facing they said we get together we cook meal together we make poems we give music to those poems we sing together we dance together and we all stay together for entire day and that gives us sense that we are all together here now i agree that some people will have trauma or anxiety to an extent which will require individual help but lot of children who grow up in groups who spend 8 hours of their day with other children and same with adults need to be treated need to be reintroduced to school in groups and one of the biggest resource that we are ignoring is older children helping younger children 
older children talking to younger children creating programs for them teaching them something see our aim for next two or three months before the new academic year starts should be yeah. to reintegrate with our society to reintegrate with our school academics to hota rahega wo to kahin nahi jane wala indian log hai mar jayenge lekin padhai nahi chhodenge right wo to books to pakad ke rakhenge wo to chhodne wale nahi hai koi bhi so sure. ye apne liye bahut aham baat hai ki hum bachchon ko sath mein leke aaye ये जो छोटे छोटे क्लासेस में डिवीजन करते हैं वो डिवीजन बंद कर दे छोटे बड़े बच्चों को भी कुछ टाइम हर दिन साथ में मिले टीचर्स एक्सचेंज हो बच्चे एक दूसरे को मदद करें कविताएं बनाए म्यूजिक बनाए थोड़ी धमाल करे थोड़ा साथ में खाए खेले एक दूसरे को मदद करे तो जो बच्चा घर पे बैठा है उसको भी लगेगा अरे यार ये स्कूल तो बदल गया है मेरा स्कूल में तो इसमें तो बहुत मजा आ रहा है ये घर पे बैठ के मैं क्या करूंगा तो उसकी भी एंगजाइटी थोड़ी कम हो जाएगी और उसको भी स्कूल आने में मदद होगी सो वी नीड टू कम टूगेदर एज अ कम्युनिटी स्टार्ट मीटिंग अक्रॉस द एज ग्रुप्स एंड चिल्ड्रन शुड स्टार्ट हेल्पिंग ईच अदर सो दैट दे आल्सो फील एम्पावर कि मैं मदद ले सकता हूं दूसरे बच्चे को मदद कर सकता हूं मतलब मैं भी पावरफुल हूं हर एक को शक्तिमान बनने में मदद करनी पड़ेगी वंडरफुल सो ब्यूटिफुल actually i think i think uh, covid has given us an opportunity to make tectonic changes in our educational system yeah and and just allow me to point again an acronym sara and yes. which says exactly what bhushan just said well sara is uh, storytelling is the only way by which teaching should happen and uh, there's always a quote with people who use i do not know why that she is creative he is creative no each one of us is so creative and if you forget you are a teacher you will tell stories even in algebra geometry and economics and the a is a lot of animation and fun children remember not the powerpoint presentation of school teachers but they remember the lines of movies because it's animated hmm it's animated and gone at the time that a stoic stiff teacher will teach and the third thing r again role reversal which means teachers students can take a class and remember uh, not the same student who stands first if you give the opportunity to somebody who doesn't stand first or is last in the class he might come up with the most creative answers so do not underestimate the creativity of children or the creativity of the human race role plays again a lot of fun lot of fun so i think covid has given an opportunity to convert the school into a fun school or happy school a anecdotes a lot of anecdotes we all have we all have anecdotes and anecdotes can be connected to the concept or it may not be connected to the concept and the children should feel the school like a magnet that no school is complete without humor without humor at all so 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 exactly what both pritam and uh, and 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 bhushan said this is a chance not to be formal but to be informal this is a chance to look at stories absolutely anecdotes humor and role play and role reversal eight standard kid going and teaching in the sixth standard class he will grow the eight standard kid will feel a sense of meaning in life that will not be a virtue but that will improve his mental health and the sixth standard child will feel i should also go and teach the fourth standard i think i think that's perfectly said and dots what bhushan and pritam has said this is a time to take risk take chances and when you take these chances you may fail but to get those five successes you have to fail twice i think mean, that i That's think right. is the most important. i'm so happy to see promote takre here i'm <laughs> so happy to see uh, harinakshi bandekar and our colleagues on the show from the back of being with us and and vimla and etc everybody beautifully beautifully said uh, bhushan and pritam and those on those what you have said so asha to bring yes. hope to the schools and support schools administration standing with them and sara to see to it that the entire environment takes a different shape so thank you both of you thank you so much dr shetty how beautifully said and everybody agrees with that uh, we should implement something like that dr bhushan you run a very famous uh, telegram group on parenting 
uh, I would ask you to just give some nuggets regarding autistic children and uh, children with disabilities. So just today, uh, from Nottinghamshire, uh, the, uh, there has been a very wonderful activity. The local MLA of Nottinghamshire in the UK put up a big board of communication board, uh, which has a lot of symbols and hand gestures, which are used to communicate with autistic children. It is called autistic communication. The most important thing for children who have any kind of neurodevelopmental difficulty or mental health issue, either temporarily or long term, is that they do not feel isolated. Isolation is absolutely, see, you will find me like a broken record coming back to this thing again and again, that we are an animal which thrives in groups. We isolate human beings, put them in solitary confinement, and they become like caged animals. They just pace back and forth and destroy themselves. So, so absorbing people in the community, keeping them in the community, in fact, helping them to find their solace in a group is what we need to do. For children who have difficulties like autism, they usually switch between connecting with people and spending time alone. It is a complete misnomer. It is a complete misunderstanding that children with autism need to be left alone. That is not true. That is absolutely not true. Even people like Elon Musk were diagnosed with some autistic features in their childhood. They have been, they have gone public about it. You know, mm. people like Paul Graham or people or a person who invented Linux, Linus Torvalds also yeah. talked about him being diagnosed with autism in his childhood. We need to remember that people need contact with each other. So integrating them, keeping them in public places, being sensitive to their needs, not overwhelming them with our contact, but giving mm. them an opportunity to at least be peripheral observers most of the times and getting into the crowd and doing their thing also whenever possible, whenever they are willing is really important for us. This is not something that we need to hide in a bedroom and lock the door from inside. We need to open the door, give them the opportunity to come out at their yeah. own will, on their own terms, and be supportive to them. This is something that really helps. There is a card which is produced by London police mm. and which says that I am an autistic, understand me. If they need help, if an autistic child or autistic person is in trouble, they just mm. hand over that card to police or to people. The card clearly says that do not touch me. Address me by my name every time you utter a sentence so that I understand it is for me. Give me simple and clear instructions. Don't come too close to me. That scares me. Don't try to take away my things because that distresses me. And this is the person who helps me the most. This is their contact number. Contact them so that they can help me. Beautiful. So understanding their world, integrating their world within our world, giving them that opportunity to be with us and not isolating them is something that we need to work on. I think every police force, every school, every social group and every society can follow these steps and help us integrate autistic children with us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Bhushan. Dr. Yeah. Shetty, you're on mute. Just one line. Uh, the children with special needs in India are in the most difficult state in COVID. Yeah. In fact, the schools are closed. There's a lot of aggression and violence. And, uh, and and I would say that a lot of facilities need to be open for them ASAP so that uh, they again get reintegrated into their old uh, system. All departments of psychiatry across the state of Maharashtra hmm. should have one dedicated psychologist or psychiatrist for special children in the next six months or for the next one year completely agree it will take some time for us to reach that stage where mm. autistic or where kids with autism have the faculties which Bhushan said but at least access to a mental professional as of now is very important go ahead go ahead, go ahead absolutely uh we're gonna have a whole lot of questions that have come from the audience i'm gonna just take up a few uh first one is from euro kids Marul. Uh, they say sir according to you what should be the screen time for students for online classes i'm gonna ask this question because this question is for all three of you and asked by a whole lot of people. Dr. Shetty, you can start and then we go. Uh, I'll go last. Let uh, okay. oh, Pritam come. Dr. Pritam first. Not talk for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, if we go by the different guidelines which have been mentioned, uh, like uh, the Indian Psychiatric Society has al already come, I guess, before COVID, they have come with the guidelines regarding the screen time and everything. 
so uh, if we go by the literal screen time guideline so we won't be able to do a single class also because mm. for less than 18 months uh, they have uh, mentioned like they are not supposed to uh, watch or apart from being video call or whatever the communication means we want to use just to show them so mm. less than 18 months they have clearly indicated that there should be no screen time if i can remember uh, for 18 months to next 5 years or so uh, they have mentioned that 30 to 45 minutes of screen time is advisable and for more than 5 years to up to 12 years or something one hour of screen time is advisable in that context but hmm. again it has to be a, a, a regulated one one thing it has to be a divided uh, divided one it is not like that you are being allowed for a screen time for 45 minutes or so or one hour or so for completely uh, for a single period or so so definitely uh, if we go by the guidelines then as i have mentioned we won't be able to do a single class of it but yeah. the situation is as such that we don't have any other resort in spite of using the screen time like if we want to attend the schools to some extent the extra curricular things like music or dance classes which has been going on so again it varies from person to person in in this kind of thing because if we go by the actual guidelines again we won't be able to do any kind of thing so definitely i feel guideline says one thing in that context but it has to be a regulated one and one itself feels every parent or every uh, the caretaker itself feel ki yaar ye itna zaruri hai matlab this is mandatory in that case ki itna sar hum de sakte and they can evenly judge also ki this has been crossing the limit matlab yeah. ki sir school hai ya koi class yeah. hai us यूज कर रहा है बट फ्री फायर खेल रहा है या बाकी कोई गेम्स खेल रहा है दे कैन इवनली पिक अप दैट थिंग कि सर यूट्यूब चला रहा है या बाकी कोई चीजें देख रहा है सो अगेन आई फील कि ये चीजें इन पर्सन टू पर्सन और चाइल्ड टू चाइल्ड वायरी होगी अनलेस एंड अंटिल वी हैव अ नॉर्मल प्री कोविड नॉर्मेलिटी कमिंग टू दैट बट अगेन गाइडलाइंस आर वेरी स्ट्रिंजेंट इन दैट केस which i don't feel anyone is following in the current scenario no absolutely and related to that itself i mean it, it's it's quite difficult i mean uh, like you said dr preetam it's it's one thing to say that uh, to follow only these guidelines but it's it's practically impossible even pre covid times forget the uh, covid times when we are forced to go to the school people are uh, and even as adults we spend 6 hours like if you if you go to your mobile and just go to the wellness section you will find that most adults are spending around 6 hours on their mobile phone so uh, when this is happening what is the ideal where do we draw the line actually dr bhushan yeah i i have a friend who was spending 6 to 8 hours on the phone and uh, mm. his spouse said that uh, uh, you you need to change this see you are spending 8 hours on phone Yeah. and uh, within a week his uh, usage came down to 4 hours okay. and we started wondering what magic happened he just got himself another phone <laughs> okay so it was 4 hours you had it on 4 hours you had it on two units so i see i think this this tells us that we are we are in a very strange situation where screen has become our lifeline yeah i think this is an opportunity for parents to raise mm. awareness in their children that there are various uses of this screen one is for passive learning where somebody is teaching you or you are watching a video and you are learning in your own mind second mm. is you are actively seeking knowledge or doing things that you are doing your school project you are researching something all of Correct. that third is when you are using it for pure entertainment where you are mm. either watching funny videos or you are uh, playing a game with your yeah. friends or you are playing a game all by yourself and the last one is where you are socializing where you are chatting with people chatting with people. now all right. these four need to be one needs to be aware what am i doing right now what am i spending time in right now and then they need to put a daily quota for themselves that how much time should i be playing how much right. time should i be spending in social interaction how much time should be for my own learning or for passive learning and once we learn to divide this screen time in these small blocks we realize <laughs> where we are spending time for what there are very see technology needs to be fought with technology the ills of technology need to be corrected with technology itself yeah. 
there are True. enough softwares available which will do this automatically for you at Absolutely. the end of the day they will tell you how you have been spending your time parents and children should sit together have screen time audits mm. and without mm. coming down heavy handedly on that they should be able to help children that see this is how you are spending your time where would you like to shift this is getting too much time this is getting too little time they should also okay. start with 8 to 10 hours of screen free time at night where everything is switched off say at 10 o'clock in the night and restarted only at 8 o'clock in the morning the most important thing is that without giving any excuses parents also need to follow the same follow that first absolutely so leading no. by example is something that need to happen so screen time is a problem for everybody but screen is not going away anywhere so let us mm. learn to live with it more sensibly let's look at it like transport that mm. yes it generates pollution it generates noise it generates traffic jams so what can we do to better utilize it in such a way that we get the benefits but we minimize the harms so we need to have this open discussion silo them in small compartments and see how we are using these screens properly absolutely absolutely and uh, dr shetty i'm going to ask you two additional I'll questions just, i'll just add on this yeah, please, had please. experiment at uh, saint xavier school long hmm. long ago at kanju and that experiment then was different because it was TV addiction, not, not screen addiction. There was no WhatsApp. Right, yeah. And uh, one, uh, the principal then and, and, the, and the psychologist did something very beautiful that was a screen off on, on one day completely. And you can come to school and play as much as you can in the school. Hmm. The second thing uh, we did, I would say the principal did along with the help of the mental health professionals, was also very important. Uh, Children deciding among mm. themselves, they always believed that in the school we need a child committee even to give, re give rewards for those who have erred in school. And children's committee are very fair, they're very just and they're very democratic. And when children got together and said, how can we bring down a screen time on TV, they, they came up with the most creative ideas. And they implemented it. See, when children come up with creative ideas, implementation is much, much better. So when you look at this aspect also, because providing democracy to children, not only to the toppers in the class, and we did mm. something very important then also in some other schools, is that when we said we should have a child committee, which we said any role number eight from every class. So okay. you would get a mix because the decision-making process reflecting is not the ability of only the toppers. So yeah. that was something which is very interesting. And, 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 and lastly about screen, the 10th and the 12th Senate guys are in a very difficult state. Yeah. Especially those who are doing uh, J and NEET. Especially those who are doing 10th online and school and 10th tuition. Here, the hmm. parents and the school and the authorities need to come to a conclusion how to maximize education with minimum screens. And that, I think, yep. is a big challenge. I see children in front of the screens till late in the evening and not playing at all. So this True. is a very serious issue. I think all of us need to come together. But providing the power to the children to sit down and decide in groups is one of the most powerful initiatives which you can do to bring down screen time. Absolutely wonderful and uh, what an innovative idea and that's uh, another thing that I would like to ask you, uh, you know, uh, we are sort of when we say about these screen times and all, a lot of uh, children are looking at this as a cool thing, right? So how do we make the non screen things cooler? That's something that I want to ask all three of you, because like exercise needs to be cooler for kids to actually join that. So how do we make these other avenues cooler? Uh, yeah, there are there are there there is a couple innovative couple husband and wife. Hmm. They have been able to make simple games cooler. Simple games. I'm not okay. talking games which need a lot of equipment and shoes. And I okay. really forget the name as of now. But I would like to bring them to the show at some point yeah. of time. So there are there are there are a lot of such initiatives, such initiatives which which are 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 very attractive. Say for example, hmm. years ago when when teachers asked me. What should we do in school new? I said you are competing with the jingle on the TV. You're not competing <laughs> with the exactly. with the teacher of yesterday. 
a company if you are more attractive than the jingle you become very cool at the same time at the same time when when a kid asks me hmm. that you know the dr shetty i i i would want to exercise but if i hear a long lecture so engaging the child hmm. very creatively and doing things with with with, with by entering it in the frame of reference also helps but nothing works as much as children initiated activities Activities. so i still believe that though we say our schools are democratic they are mm. not democratic you pick yeah. up your clones you pick up your clones and those clones do exactly what the teachers <laughs> do so pick up those who do not like the teachers and you will find that new ideas come from the most surprising corner so have a menu of a lot of activities yeah which which can be done in least space and yes. do not believe that one or two teachers in your school are creative then you restrict mm. the, the creativity of the other teachers and believe mm. that every teacher every admin staff every every other staff can do something new to the school and if if that is done i'll tell you there will be a million surprises mm-hmm. and a trillion innovations so we are experimenting yep. with small small things in schools which are very supportive excellent dr preetam you want to add to that any cool things that no definitely yeah no. if definitely uh, with with the current trend going on smartphone mm. or the screen time has been has been the new new, new cooler things in that this aspect but again yeah. we need to force it down not force it down but we need to acknowledge the things which are more important apart from all this of course mm. as as uh, bushan sir also said screen is going to stay here it, it is one of the main lifeline which has become so avoiding it or ignoring it is is not a road ahead it has to be a controlled and structured one and again there are lot many creative ideas you can get of we we always think of the the the, the cons of of uh, a screen Technology. and everything but you just, just yeah. uh, type on google that 50 creative games which can be played at home and you <laughs> yeah. get lot of things and ideas. lots of new and innovative ideas or the basic ones means majority of the parents are coming to us or from that generation or uh, 85s or 90s generation so the basic sports what we used to play matlab hamare waqt mobile nahi the kuch nahi the jo games hum log khelte the you might be remembering of that means i just uh, casually said one of the parent ki jo agar aapko yaad hoga hum log jab bhi fair ya mele mein jaate the we yeah. used to have ki sare items rakhe and we used to have throw the rings or dish so dish ya throw the rings yes ring milega jo item milega that will be yours so i just casually yeah. suggested one of the parent ki ab group mein aap kya jab char panch bacche aate you try this once so they were matlab ye bachcho ne ye games dekhe nahi hai and they they right. were really kind of ki yaar we want to have this kind of thing <laughs> ya ye cheez hai so again these are some it can be anything uh, it can yeah. be anything and it can be made out of nowhere aisa aapko kuch bahut karne ki zarurat nahi hai just one right. kid suggested me ek abhi next week last week or so they have brought me they have made a cardboard kind of thing and okay. they have put in a, a, a numbering system kind of like isme 10 points hai isme 20 points hai isme 50 points hai and they have tried a, a tied a ring kind of thing and the tt hmm. ball what we have with us and they okay. are playing that sort of ki ek distance hai aapko usme dalna hai and whatever we will, will be the your score after five attempts the the kid will be winner for it so again yes. there are lot many kinds of things and jaise sir ne bola there there is flood of creativity in indians matlab hum jaise jugad kar sakte hai waise hum log creative bhi ho sakte hai but we have to give the opportunity for that and we have to be acceptive in that ki yaar screen ke bahar bhi duniya hai and that is again an important aspect it is it should be balanced between screen and the social or the community that we as a parent or as an adult or as a society have to accept absolutely and dr bhushan i'm just going to add a couple of comments from the viewers they have said that decrease in physical activity has led to obesity and turn of loss of con- self confidence and depression and then i remember when i took out my kids after the second wave got over they were not able to bear the sunlight also it was extremely alarming uh, go ahead dr bhushan 
Yeah, I, I think see when we talk about cool things, yeah, uh, we have to realize that who are the cool people. Hmm. Previously, we used to say that till a certain age, children family uh, childrens follow elders in their family. Now that age is going down, and probably beyond six or seven years, they really don't consider their teachers or elders as real role models. They have their own cool people. Every class has a queen bee or a king bee uh, who sets the trend for that class, and everybody wants to follow them. These are typically the people who are socially more active, are are sport very sporting oh, or good looking yeah. or whatever. I think we need to enroll these influencers hmm. to hmm. lead these activities, so that an influencer loves nothing more than limelight. and children yeah. love nothing more than following their influencer the with the adults being out of the picture you and i whatever we tell them we are last generation we are dead people we are dinosaurs for them no matter what you say even if you try to give them gold for free they will say yeah. this is useless for me give me bitcoin right, <laughs> right. so right. so we have to find their cool people their trend setters their influencers and get them into activities with the help of those influencers i would say bribe the influencers if you need to but get them to do things you know if rihana can put in a tweet for $25000 i don't right. mind giving a special mcdonald street or whatever to the influencer right. in my child's class to get them to get together play for 2 hours put their screens away and make these things cool so let's use the influencers in the classroom wonderful this is line, yes uh, dr shetty yeah uh, the- the couple i was talking about was mm. in, uh, is mamta and pankaj uh, pankaj bosle okay. and they are doing a lot of work and uh, smita also uh, smita also says that dr supriya wakantar wakantar was a lot of work he was saying this, but i yes. would have a little difference of opinion with both my both pankaj and smita <laughs> is that influencers depends on which strata of society you are interacting yeah mm. well if you go to a night school in bombay i go once in a while and their their influencers are the same the similar influencers which we had in our 70s and 80s they still regard that teacher who comes all the way mm. leaving his job to teach them maths as the influencer so looking at uh, india is not about these guys das or veer or others <laughs> remember it has a bigger india beyond this india and and a lot of a lot of parents are influencers among among in small villages a lot of ias officers from the same village influencers for a lot of young kids so uh, so i would agree with with, with bhushan in a light at the khila sala ko bolo up but uh, <laughs> so we need to look at the real india we have been captured by the false india for a very long time so at the same time we need, we need to look at the real india and also a lot of influencers inside schools also are not are detrimental to the health of the children so so i i i, I strongly look at uh, uh, the other option though i agree with completely go uh, with this option other option is why don't the old hags like bushan me and pritam turn around get into the get into the the the, the milieu and also become as cool as is necessary to influence children but what is very important is this is not an era of reverence hmm it is an era of irreverence Yes, but it's but it's also an era where children learn little things from little people. Ha, mm-hmm. Maje, my father is nice, huh? He always came to my school in all open houses. But you know what? He does not treat his mother well. So they they can they can discern and mm-hmm. they learn from a lot of people. So mm-hmm. so it's so important to teach the children history of the country in an appropriate manner. I was so sad when I asked a lot of school principals and parents in Maharashtra. Are you aware that Baba Sahib Churandare passed away, mm. and they did not know who was Baba Sahib? I am not talking about kids. I am talking about, about educators, the parents, educators, educators, oh, educators. Wow. And parents. So I think I think we need really to to look at this business of influencers in a very uh, perspective-laden manner, where different mm. groups are influenced by different people. 
and we need to take all that all that and learn from them and probably turn the the preachers like me bushan and pritam into a different form of influencer absolutely beautifully said beautifully said dr shetty dr bushan and dr pritam uh, i'm going to ask one last question and then we'll get the closing comments uh, dr pritam this is one really important point although she has mentioned that uh, in taluka places where mothers are housewives but this is i'm seeing this even in urban situations it's not not very different that most parents just hand over the ipad or the phone whenever they want to get their work done and then they just keep them occupied or whenever the kid starts crying they instantly want to just give them that as like uh, it's basically replace the role of a candy or like you know a chocolate uh, as we say and then yeah, exactly. uh, the kid is busy with that so how do we deal with this no def- no definitely this has been a, a major issue uh, mm. uh, since last 5 6 years or so which yes. uh, which we everyone is observing we as a parent are trying to shy away from the responsibility of parenting in fact anirudh yeah. you might be also listening why the, there is buzz around this parenting word these days yes yes because the, the, the kind of things are doing uh, going around is making the things troubled and then we are at mm. the outset very easy for us to blame the kid for it or anything kind of it we have Correct. seen many examples or we have seen many examples that kid is uh, is appealing to get time from his parents or anything yes. but either they are so much occupied with or they they, they want their me time and the best possible way to mm. to uh, just uh, uh, have this time is just to hand over the screen and mobile for it again mm. uh, for some people it might be a side style statement also ki yaar hamare bacche ko ipad chalate aata hai hamare bacche ko mobile chalate aata hai but majority of the time is it's, it's just shying away from the roles of parenting teaching them the subtle ways the te- uh, the parent uh, the child learns from their parents and again so every one of us has to again rechallenge our thoughts again has to think of it ki how mm. it's gonna benefit us how it is going to help us the child growth and everything there are so many articles so many talks like we are conducting which are uh, which are stressing on the productive use of screen what are the disastrous uh, harmful effects they are going to have if you it gets unregulated and everything so definitely mm. i feel as a parent uh, it it again uh, the the kind of parenting jaise 90s ya 95s mein jaisa hota tha it it was by default kind of parenting but now mm. you have to real in real sense the parenting is now a full term job it is not a ki aap parent ban gaye aur cheeze aapne chhod di the parenting has now awesome. become really important and i feel ki if you are really concerned and and just want to be in that zone definitely you will try to control it because shying away from the things is not solution not at a earlier age also and at late stages as well so definitely uh, absolutely uh, rethinking on our uh, our profiles rethinking on the time you need to give you to your kids and the time he also needs will definitely mm. try to address this issue and importance of physical activity overall other uh, domains which uh, needs to be embossed in again these things should be highlighted and i feel this will help to solve the purpose to majority of things absolutely dr bhushan any thoughts on that no i Keeping think pritam has occupied. yeah see pritam has very much summarized it very well uh, yes. keeping kids occupied is a big challenge i would suggest that mm. mothers who find themselves quite lonely in looking after mm. children uh, need to be more assertive mm. no matter where they are uh, the quiet assertiveness of indian women is mm. absolutely you know it's more uh, powerful than nuclear powers so <laughs> actually handing you know giving explicit responsibility to other members of the family is really important i remember when i was a child one of my neighbors lost her son because they used to use these afim paste which was put to the palate of the child so that the child would sleep and mother could work Wow. and all this while when there was a unemployed uh, young man in the house uh, who was sitting outside in the gully and chatting with other people the whole day such kind of tragedies are happening in digital world as well 
so getting the whole family involved particularly getting the male members involved if you are going out for some business uh, work you can always mm. take your four year old along with you he doesn't have to sit at home with mother on the phone the child needs to see outside world with his father and see how he deals with that so mm. everybody needs to be involved in that we cannot leave these jobs to mothers it is absolutely unfair because we have not taken away any other job from them but we have added this job on their head this is not fair at all this is everybody's burden and unless we take it as everybody's burden these children and their mothers would suffer beautifully beautifully absolutely, said absolutely absolutely dr shetty your comments i i completely agree that uh, india runs because of mothers teachers and the constable on the road and uh, empowering the mother uh, is very important problem solving skills are extremely but i would like to uh, ask ask both bhushan and peter yes. they've got them today they're very busy professionals i would like to put the slide of pasta and i would like their views on the psychological problem we see we spoke about panic i would ask bhushan and pritam do you see a lot of anxiety and worry sadness sleep issues and depression trauma thoughts or anger and irritability among the children as of now yeah i think it is becoming more and more common we see lot of emotional dysregulation children getting overwhelmed by negative emotions the anxiety the sadness the anger the frustration the loneliness that is really working havoc on our children what has also happened is that parents are getting more busy because they are working from home for a large section of society their bosses are being absolutely heartless we have to realize that bosses are brutal, now of brutal, the age brutal, absolutely brutal, brutal. brutal. yeah it is slavery okay. that is going on there young professionals with young children are being ruled by bosses who have adult children who don't have to yeah. worry about their children we are seeing a complete heartlessness in manufacturing it and ites and that is really harming families so parents are not available they are working overtime and children are left to fend for themselves who have no clue how to manage those emotions it is really difficult lot of children are coming up for individual help and do i am all for social help there are you know it is few professionals like me preetam and dr shetty are simply not enough 9000 yeah. psychiatrists for 140 crore people this is not going to work people yeah. need to think very carefully and think child centric way to reduce this emotional burden on children we need to get as we said safely but definitely the school colleges have to start i have a 21 year old daughter whose entire class is fully vaccinated all teachers are fully vaccinated and their college is working just one day a week this is not okay uddhav ji if you are listening to us and i really hope you are listening to us let <laughs> us get back to our schools our colleges our life in a safe way we need each other we need to meet each other yeah absolutely yeah. well said dr pritam Hello, yes, I, I didn't get you, pardon. Yeah, I, I, that question yes, yes, yes. was I, the psychological I, problems. Uh, is there anxiety? Is there sadness, depression, trauma, anger, and irritability, uh, which you see in your in your work with kids as of now? No, no. Uh, Pardon, actually, I am having some issue with my net no, connection, no, no, so I am not able no to problem. hear you guys. No problem. I, I'll tell you again. Psychological issues of children, which you see in your practice. No, definitely, as as sir has mentioned, the pasta. Each and every psychological issue has been there in this one and a half years. It was there to some extent in. pre covid era as well but covid has been a real disruptor or an aggravating factor it's not like a individual emotional or behavioral issue which has been dominant every now and then we are feeling uh, we are seeing patients having depression anxiety child is having behavioral issues irritability temper tantrums uh, disobedient mm. behavior we are on that disorder so definitely each and every behavioral issues has around the spectrum has been there and as stressed by dr shetty sir as well as dr bhushan sir we as a society has to think up about all these things because it is again the covid has to be stay here unless and until we have some safe guidelines to go ahead the things are not going to improve and the 
that the thing which is at stake is is a generation by itself so we have mm. to be very uh, very Absolutely. proactive in that sense both as a doctor as a society as a parent as a citizen of this country to think mm. about this and we need to work proactively because two and a half years has been a it's really long. long time and as sir has also given her example of a daughter i just came to know about a, a college in mumbai that in spite of opening up and everything the kids or the students who has been going in the college has to attend the online thing on sitting on their bench because the professor has been sitting in his room or chamber and because of whatever the technical <laughs> issues they might be in so if you are joining the offline mode also to the college you are supposed to go and sit in your class and open your laptop and see the thing so where we are going as a society here yeah, we have to think about all these things and and jaise abhi abhi commonly hum log puchte hain and every one of us ki jitne abhi covid ke patients hum logo ke district mein in fact usse zyada depression ke patients hum sab log mila ke hamare opd mein dekhte honge abhi agar pura mumbai ka baat baat kiya jaye pune ka baat kiya jaye ya nagpur ka kiya jaye so definitely our cases are and this is the way the pandemic goes so definitely with proper precautions and safety measures what we can do we have to think up beyond this and and it has to be done with as soon as possible absolutely wonderfully said uh, dr preetam and the closing comments from you dr bhushan and then dr shetty I, I think I'll I'll have a quick go first before Dr. Shetty yes. can have last word about this. Yes. So we we have suffered enough. Life has been strange. Life has been unkind. But those of us who have survived, who have you know had bad experiences, have seen tragedies in our family. We have also seen completely unknown human beings, perfect strangers, turning up for help in difficult times. if anything we have definitely realized that we are meant for each other we cannot function alone in our silos lost to the world just looking after ourselves that is not how it works we need to teach this to our children our children need to see this as a real life experience and we have as dr shetty very rightly said we have this opportunity to redesign our social world are we going to use this opportunity and take it ahead and make it a better world or just try to recreate old societies old patterns and cry after them is really up to us we need to grab this opportunity with both hands and soar again you know otherwise we will be sent back to 2018 and 2019 that is not okay that is not acceptable let's move on absolutely uh, sitaraman says they had a lot of fun during children's day kirti thakur says that she does a lot of good work with the special kids and that is so important a little word for our teachers and i would like to say what should management do for our great teachers and uh, they've also suffered so many teachers have lost their spouses parents and and it's 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 a big loss and i would say the management should always bother about having a lot of debriefing which means sitting around once in a week and sharing their feelings and no judgment at all sharing their feelings and management please don't dump a lot of work to the teachers lot of schools have so many meetings and committees late in the evening why crisp meetings let the teachers have free time for for themselves extremely important extremely important and pratima bandarkar who is who heads my counseling center at sm city school where i am associated we fight for this don't dump a lot of meaningless work on teachers de stress them off and on by little activities and yoga is a great stress buster and please i know you want to have accreditation of this and accreditation of that but don't dump documentations to the teachers which they have to finish late at night please understand that the school principal is also a teacher when i mean a, a, a school school principal is also a teacher and those school managements who use their auditorium for once a month dance and joy for teachers those schools those schools will do very well 
because actually actually my <laughs> dear friends it is not the dance which is choreographed huh? by the way you will start yeah. uh, uh, asking your dance teacher aisa ha to ta aisa to ta limitless dance the way they want to i think i think we need to not overestimate the resilience of our teachers who have been doing great work and lastly mm. my dear friends i would like to say i would still repeat that 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 fever and failure fever and failure diagnosis is the key we have missed a lot of diagnosis of learning learning disabilities and a lot of times we have seen that 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 actually actually we have not been able to to uh, to screen them as of now and that is something we need to do very very urgently very very urgently and 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 it's so important that we need to actually do, do that and there are a lot of irritable school teachers now but remember hitting is cheaper but talking goes goes deeper and lastly my dear friends both bushan and pritam have said beautifully that there are a lot of psychological issues and remember time is not always the best healer you need to seek intervention as much as we can and again really lastly these are the six aphorisms i uttered to myself all every day when we work with children and they are every child is important all children are equal every child is different every child can learn no child is born a criminal and transformation is possible in every child my dear bhushan and pritam namaskar the the way yes. way bhushan said you should influence the influencers i'm influencing you both and, and thank <laughs> you for being on the show what yes insight i learned <laughs> so much from both of you and thank i think you sir also thousands of others and remember okay. as i put off this thank laptop you. thank you sir i am going to put on my laptop to write a mail to my honorable chief minister who has led the state beautifully with high integrity and i am going to write to him that we need to start our facebook shows not only with physicians and chest physicians but with child psychiatrists child psychologists and mental health professionals so that we can reach out to children across villages hamlets cities and towns and this is what i promised to do as an outcome of the show anirudh i don't know what to say to you but <laughs> in the poor language thank you so much to really praise you thank you guys thank, thank you, you so thank much you. thanks for thank everybody you. who is watching and you can follow thank both you, the doctors so on twitter at doc bhushan and at the rate uh, dr pritam chandak uh, thank you so much everybody for spending so much time for us on sunday and watching and listening to us patiently thank you so much dr bhushan thank you so much dr pritam thank, thank you thank you everybody thank you thank you